Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Payne. Be prepared to witness extraordinary efforts of dedicated individuals helping animals in trouble. Let's begin our show with this amazing animal rescue true story. Los Angeles County fire crews are called to a horse emergency. A large equine is stuck in a muddy hole and they need to dig her out. Uh, we got a call from a uh, citizen uh, this afternoon regarding a horse stuck in a corral and uh, we came and evaluated the situation and found that we had a horse actually stuck in about a four foot deep uh, mud or sinkhole uh, that had caused, been caused by a broken pipe. Uh, the pipe near the per corral, uh, uh, the water source for the corral, had burst and uh, or had been snapped off somehow, we don't know how, uh, caused a, a very deep, uh, about four and a half, five foot deep sinkhole that the horse became stuck in. It's right there, the pipe's up there. So that's what flooded the corral? The pipe came up to about here, and I don't know, I'm thinking she may have kicked it, and then it just snapped it right at the ground level. So all night the water was just seeping, seeping into there, and then she came to get a drink of water, that's where the water was, her bucket, and then... Fire crews continue to dig and remove the thick and heavy mud surrounding the horse, named Nuzzle. The best thing to do actually would be, as I was just telling him, is to dig out underneath his legs. Yeah. Exactly. A blindfold is placed over the animal's eyes. It's an attempt to reduce the horse's stress level of seeing all these humans working on her. Although, quite frankly, Nuzzle doesn't seem to be too scared. Put over that, put over more that. Right here, bro. Okay. I need one more guy on this side. Yes. Firemen need to slide straps underneath the body of the horse, under its front and back legs, in order to be able to lift the equine out of this mess. Right, let's, before we do this, everybody who's not involved, let's clear out in case they can't or do something. Once the straps are in position, the rescuers get ready to lift. Come on, Nuzzle baby. Unfortunately, the first efforts only result in freeing the horse's front legs out of the mud, leaving most of her body still stuck. The straps are re-secured, and the firemen try again. However, it's determined more of the mud and dirt need to be removed. Hay is spread around the horse. While serving as a snack for Nuzzle, the hay also absorbed some of the wet dirt around the perimeter of the hole. Unable to pull the horse free, fire crews call in a backhoe. The extra muscle from such a machine may be just the thing to help with this rescue. Obviously exhausted from this ordeal, Nuzzle rests and occasionally munches as the backhoe begins its work. The operator careful not to get too close to the animal with its large steel scoop. As the hole is widened, more of Nuzzle's legs are exposed, but she is still not out yet. More digging and more pulling are required. You guys are ready? On the count of three, guys. One. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Go! Lift! 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 Go, 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 Once out of her predicament, Nuzzle is given some tender, loving care by firemen. All right, here we go, here we go, yeah! Now it's time to get warmed up in the Southern California sun, and then get a bath to wash off all that mud. His, his rear legs are real weak. Let the blood get back in there. 
Nuzzle looks no worse for the wear. A horse is saved thanks to the dedicated efforts of many compassionate individuals.